Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girlfriend and Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. So, uh, I'm back after a long, long time. I was so busy with school, but now we can actually catch up. I can actually catch up with making videos. You guys can actually catch up with watching. And yeah, just remember to subscribe. If you're new, welcome to our returning subscribers and people that always watch our videos. Welcome back. Too. I hope you guys are doing all right. You can find us. You can actually find us on social media as Funny and Jesse. You can find us on Instagram as Funny and Jesse, Facebook Funny and Jesse. I think those are the only two platforms. Or you can find our personal channels actually. And feel free to interact with us. You can say hi. You can give us suggestions there. You can also suggest uh, something down below by dropping us a link. Cause I always see comments saying um, there's better videos to react to but no suggestions after that so just drop the link to those good and amazing videos that you guys want us to react to and we'll be more than glad to do it or i'll be more than glad to actually react to them thank you for 20,000 subscribers you guys are the best it's just out of this world to ever sit down and think would reach here one day is mind-blowing so thank you very much for subscribing keep subscribing keep watching you guys are the realest so today i'm going to be reacting to quran burner raises money for muslims so without wasting time let's get into the video assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh last week i made a video about a particular pipsqueak a particular delinquent a particular ruffian, an individual, a fool, block-headed fool, who who's coming out and burning the Quran on a weekly basis, uh, thinking that he's harming Islam and the Muslims uh, thereby. Unfortunately for him, I have to say, he's come out and done it again. Let's take a look at the video of him being aggressive and burning uh, the Quran, coming out of masajid, people trying a uh, threatening behavior to people. Uh, and come back and see. So as you can see, this uh, fool thinks he's getting something uh, done. He's achieving something, that the objective is being uh, met. I'll tell you what objective is being uh, met. What objective is being met is that you're actually helping us raise money to establish Islam and Muslims in Norway. In fact, the video that we done last, 80,000 euros were yet raised. That's thanks to you, uh, Lars Thorns. I wanted to thank you personally uh, again. You know, that's 80,000 euros. Uh, you can get a lot uh, with, with that. And as I promised, every time you burn a Quran, it's a promise of mine. Yes, and the promise of the Muslim community. It was the promise of the Muslim community that every time that you burn the Quran, there'll be 50,000 euros to your name, that you'll be yourself the chief fundraiser. Thank you so much, Lars Thorn, for the fundraising by doing antagonizing the Muslims, making the Muslims angry, making the Muslims give charity in the last 10 nights of Ramadan, which is what you're doing, which is what it is now. You're encouraging the Muslims to do this. But not only that, but you've actually come out, you had the audacity, you had the bravery, to challenge me to a debate, to challenge Muhammad Hijab to a, a, a debate, no problem, I accept the debate. I'll come down to Norway, let's debate, is Islam true? Let's debate anything you like, you can bring uh, whatever you want uh, and we'll have a discussion. Not just you, but that political leader in uh, Sweden, um, well, maybe when I'm done with you, I'll go, you know, it's only a... Uh, one hour flight or something to Sweden and I'll deal with him as well. But for now, what I will say is for the Muslim community, as we promise to the people that every time this man burns a Quran and he creates a ruckus in our community and he creates some problems in our community, that you're going to yourself last as the chief fundraising officer. You are going to now help us raise another 100,000 since we're now, yes, we're now in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. So this is the time for everybody to go full throttle, to honestly, don't just let your right hand spend and forget about, don't even inquire 
Don't even look back. As the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that mal or wealth does not depreciate from giving in charity. And on the flip side, one thing which we or individuals on the day of judgment, maybe like Lars Thorn himself, who's going to be burning in the hellfire himself, inshallah, if he continues at the pace that he's at, burning in the hellfire, yeah, is that they will be saying, The one thing they'll be regretting is the fact that they haven't even given charity. We don't want to be like these individuals who regret not giving the charity in days like golden days like this. Tonight, baby, Laylatul Qadr. You must give the charity. We must go forward. We must keep, continue the cause. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That was an interesting uh, clip to actually see. I'm just thinking, so someone actually goes out every week, uh, spends money on the Quran, and then just burns it. Or is this a situation of where these books are free? Either way, it doesn't make it right. Uh, people are extremists in what they believe in, but then to actually... It's one thing to sit down and be an extremist, have all these extreme thoughts, but to actually go out there, uh, shoot yourself and then put it out there, I don't know. I don't know how I think or feel about that. Because it's just, I, I don't know. That's why I say, no matter what you believe in in life, don't be that person that's going to, um, that's going to just want to do something because... I don't, you feel like, and anyway, in this day and age, everyone has the right to do what they want. Anyone really has the right to do what they want. And do you? I don't even know what to think. I really don't know what to think about this. Otherwise, bad news source. So the more bad things you're doing out there, be it uh, being in the Quran, you're just promoting that religion. That's what people don't understand. You're promoting that religion. The more we speak about it, we're going to share the video. And someone is going to be, oh, what's this religion? At the end of the day, maybe they'll gain followers. At the end of the day, maybe they'll gain fans. So, I don't understand what the guy is actually gaining from this. And what he's actually, I don't know, what do you achieve after such a move? What exactly do you achieve in this world? We should learn to think about our friends and how they think about it. And if this was actually done during Ramadan, then I don't know. I think it was just to provoke the Islamic, um, the people that believe in Islam. You provoke them, then what? And it's nice that people are answering in such a class way. This was a response. I don't know if there are other responses. But other, what if you meet someone that's actually going to maybe give you a slap for doing such a thing? Sometimes... Let's be our brother's protectors. Let's let people practice their religion in peace. Stop provoking people. Otherwise, I love the way um, this guy is coming out and talking about it and focusing on the positive part of actually gaining from what this man is doing. Let me know what you guys think. If there's any suggestions, please drop the link down below or drop the name. We'll be more than glad to react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.